Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Feng Zhu. Uh, I'm currently a storage architect working at the Alibaba Group. So today I'm going to uh, introduce uh, our progress uh, on, uh, towards the high volume deployment of open channel SSDs and uh, Alibaba data centers. Uh, we actually started this effort uh, around two or three years ago and have been introduced this concept at multiple uh, conferences. <laughs> Uh, this year, we are actually uh, one step close to the high volume, uh, high volume deployment. So I want to share the, our progress and earnings with everybody. So the, this is the agenda for my talk. So firstly, I'll briefly introduce the, what is AliFlash. Uh, and then I'll, I'll talk about two uh, architecture built based upon our uh, open channel SSD platform. One is the replica SSD, which is targeting extremely low uh, latency. Another one is a multi-stream SSD built up on open channel for uh, reduced uh, write amplification and the improved latency. Uh, this page I'm basically showing the history of the AliFlash, which is uh, Alibaba self uh, developed uh, SSD uh, brand. Uh, we started uh, in 2016, which is uh, AliFresh version one, which is a host-based uh, PCI SSD, and has been widely used in Alibaba's uh, DB, RDS, Finance, Search, CDN, those applications. Until now, we have been uh, deployed roughly like uh, 50,000 uh, drives in our data centers. And then Move to 2016, uh, we were develop, developed the NVMe SSDs, uh, as has been widely used in our DB and search, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can see that OE, V1 and V2 uh, is more like a, a OEM and ODM thing. Basically, we, we ask the vendors to build the drives for us, or we also provide some requirements they build drives for us. But move to the version three, that's what I'm uh, going to uh, talk today is most, it's a different mode, it's JDM, basically co-development. So for version three, this is a, a dual mode SSD, means uh, it can be configured as a standard NVMe SSD, or it can be uh, configured as a open channel SSDs. Open channel SSDs provides a tremendous opportunity to, uh, for the optimization on the uh, latency and also the right amplification, and also there's an opportunity to combine the FTL for the SSD with upper level applications for more uh, improvement. Uh, we are in the stage of the uh, ramping up uh, for this uh, version three SSDs targeting uh, almost every uh, applications in our data centers, DBR, DS, CDN, and so forth. So uh, before I move to the uh, SSD uh, details, I just want to give a brief intro introduction on the SSD controller we are using for this uh, AliFresh V3. Um, as I said earlier, like version one, version two, uh, the vendors built for us, but the version three, we are highly involved in the, co in the development and the customization. Even the controller itself is customized. Uh, this, this is a controller, we call it the Ali FSD V1, means uh, Alibaba's flash system controller version one. Uh, it's a self-development controller. Uh, we have, uh, for this particular, we support open channel mode, and the PCIe Gen 3, NVMe 1.3, uh, has uh, 16 channels, so which uh, have drive capacity up to 16 terabyte and the dual core, uh, three dual core ARM, and uh, because there's so many channels and the very powerful ARM core there, uh, we, we actually can achieve the 4K random rate up, uh, up to 800K, it's a, it's a very decent number. And also, uh, <laughs> because a good LDPC design actually can support all the major vendors, three, uh, 3D NAND, TOC, QOC components. We started the, the define the, uh, the, the, the chip in, Late 2016, I actually have the, uh, the early uh, year sample, beginning of 2018, and then based on that, that uh, the chips, we started to build our early flash uh, with three SSDs. 
on top of it. So this page is summarizing the uh, SSD platform for the AliFresh V3. So the reason uh, we are moving to a direction for the open channel is because uh, in the today's hyperscale data centers, we are facing uh, a lot of uh, new challenges, uh, like the per performance. Some of the, assist, the application requires very low latency, and this requires a code development between the software and hardware. And only with that, uh, sorry, can I have the plugin or something? Oh, yeah. So for the standard SSD, because everything is encapsulated in the drive, you don't really have the opportunity to do the co-optimization. And also uh, for the data centers, because the different applications, the workloads are very dynamic and fast changing. So we need something which can be quickly customized to meet the requirements of different applications. And also uh, from the TCO perspective, we're always facing the pressure to uh, adapt the, like the cheaper, cheaper components like TOCN and QOCN and to continue to reduce the cost. And white box, uh, this means that um, uh, the IO should be uh, deterministic. So current standard SAD cannot provide the IO determinism. And also service, from the current cloud service, uh, for the cloud, uh, once there's an issue on the online, you already request engineers to respond very quickly and fix the problem very quickly. But uh, for the current, uh, if we are purchasing the SSDs from different uh, hardware vendors, the response could be very slow. So from that perspective, we, we believe move to the open channel. We have the self-control and all those uh, FTO stuff. We can provide much faster response for those uh, online issues. So if you look at the, the, your left-hand side, this is basically a, a, a schematic for our uh, platform. So from bottom to up, we will have multiple vendors, multiple hard SSD vendors, and the, all the vendors are connected to our platform through a unified uh, with dual mode SSD spec. We call it Alibaba dual mode SSD spec. And then, uh, as I said, it's dual mode, so the applications or the BUs can decide whether uh, I'm using the uh, device based mode or open channel mode. Uh, in terms of even for the open channel mode, there are also a choice of uh, whether you want to do the FTO in the kernel mode or you want to do the uh, FTO in the user mode. If you are looking for the extreme uh, performance for like one microsecond, two microsecond latency, you care about it, you can go with the user mode. And above of this uh, SSD platform, we have our local storage engine called Fusion Engine, and then exposed to different applications uh, in, in different BOs. Okay, so now I'm moving to the two uh, architecture we're exploring uh, to achieve the uh, extreme performance uh, based on the open channel SSD platform. This idea is called uh, replica SSD. Uh, so some applications uh, want uh, the very low latency, but for the NAND SSD, uh, probably people are familiar with that, the NAND, how NAND SSD is working, knows that uh, the SSD uh, latency, especially the long tail latency, is impacted by the read and write operation collision. If the read comes down to the SSD, but if there's a write in progress already, so the read will be impacted significantly in terms of latency. Uh, so this idea is basically trying to um, separate the NVM uh, resources between the read operation and, and the write operation, uh, therefore can achieve a very low latency. So the high idea is uh, it's built upon open channel SSD, so therefore it's um, transparent to the upper level uh, software, and the drive itself will be partitioned into two parts, uh, as I show in the, the in the schematic. One is the blue part and the orange part. You can say the SSD zero and SSD one, but indeed they are uh, they, they belong to a single physical drive, 
And all the data or LBA will have dual copies in the same drive. Because it's dual copy, therefore the read and write request can be dispatched to different set. Uh, for example, like uh, when the host is writing to the blue part, and then all the read should go to the orange part. So the, the read and orange part will not be impacted by the, by the write operation. On the other hand, when we switch, uh, the, the, the writes will be uh, dispatched to the orange part, and then the, the, the data, at the same time, the data in the blue part will be uh, copied to the orange part too, so therefore you have two copies for each LVA, and you can achieve um, the read and write uh, separate completely. So this is a, a, a latency, a long tail latency comparison between uh, the commercial available uh, standard SSDs, ABC, and to our prototype of the replica SSD. Uh, the le right, your left hand side is the 300 megabyte write pressure. Right hand side graph is mirrored under the 500 megabytes per second write pressure. And the x axis is basically the read IO per second from 5,000 to 50,000. This is very standard, uh, standard read and write pressure in, in our applications. Uh, from this comparison, you can clearly see the, the orange, which is replica SSD showing much better uh, read latency. And also, it's not sensitive to write pressure uh, at all. So we basically achieve a read only like uh, latency in this, uh, in this prototyping. So this is the sec second uh, architecture I'm going to talk, uh, the multi-stream. Uh, multi-stream itself is not a new concept. Uh, I think right now um, Samsung has a commercial uh, MME SSD support multi-stream, and also Huawei has a, has a product to support multi-stream as well. Um, the reason people do multi-stream is because um, uh, with multi-stream capability, uh, the data with different life cycles can be separated and then put into different write streams and eventually needs to uh, reduce the write, ampli amplification, uh, write amplification and improve the quality of service. Uh, but uh, for the standard device-based SS, uh, device SSD, so support multi-stream is very complex. There are so many corner cases from the power loss protection, uh, from the, like the, if the LBAs are collision uh, into different streams, how to solve that in various corner cases. It's very complex. Uh, I think that's why it's the, the availability is very limited. And we built this upon the open channel SSDs. And because we know the uh, upper level applications, we simplified the FTL a lot. Uh, we are not targeting all the corner cases because we know in, in our applications, we are not going to have those kind of corner cases. So the, the FTO implemented in our open channel driver is much simpler compared to this firmware implement, implementation for the device-based SSDs. So the right hand side is basically showing that uh, we are um, leveraging the Linux kernel and, uh, and uh, the so-called right hand uh, into a kernel and so pass down the what stream we want to put the data into SSD. And then this, uh, once the open channel driver receives that hint, we'll decide where to put it. And, uh, and uh, the, because the open channel is um, targeting the right, right, uh, right physical location for each stream, so therefore the data can be effectively dis uh, separated without any mixture. Uh, so this page is showing the, uh, the multi-stream results in terms of the throughput. Uh, in this experiment, we are actually uh, emulating the uh, standard uh, uh, database applica applic uh, uh, application. So you can see that uh, we separate the, the write streams into the sequential write and then random write. Those are for like log write, uh, metadata update, uh, and also the uh, data update. With you can see the, the, the numbers, they're actually corresponding to different LBA ranges. 
and then we have a reader for data read. So from the, you can see uh, the throughput actually significantly improved uh, use multi-stream mode compared to the latency mode. And then the write amplification is also significantly reduced uh, through the multi-stream. Uh, and the left hand, the right hand side graph is showing the read latency because uh, reduce the write amplification means we reduce the background write. So the latency is also significantly reduced from average latency to the to a long tail. So ramp up. Um, we are building the open channel, uh, but we are not alone. Uh, we are using the co-development uh, mode to collaborate most of the SSD vendors in the industry. Uh, also, we do the co-validation together. This reduces our time and complexity for the SSD qualifications. And we are uh, in the in the stage to have the massive deployment of this uh, open channel SSDs in 2019. This is the last page. What's the next? So towards the high volume deployment, uh, right now we are further improve the IO scheduling and quality of service improve, uh, optimization. And also for the further cost reduction, we are moving to the QOC deployment and for us, Stability online service. We're also working on the online disk, di disk defect uh, monitoring and the prediction. So we are calling for a collaboration for the whole industry. If any of those things you think uh, you're interesting, so feel free to contact me uh, after the presentation. Thanks. Okay, I don't know if maybe one quick question while we're switching speakers. Okay, so one question about the resting SSDs. How do you keep them synchronized? So, so basically, it's, uh, we separate the time window. So for the time window one, we are writing to the, say, the blue part, and only read to the orange part, at the next time window, we send the, the writes to the orange part, but in the same time, we will, through the, we will do the so-called garbage collection mechanism to copy the data from the blue part to the orange part to ensure the data has two copies in, in the drive. Of course, there will be some small window. Before you finish the copy, there's some small window. You don't have two copies, but Based on the application, this window could be very small, and we'll just take it. But for the most, of the, most of the time, you have two copies, you can achieve read only latency. Okay. Thank you. Bye.